Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 15th of 2021. Well, it is titled Cyclone Paths on Planet Earth. So what do we see here? Well, there is our planet Earth stretched out. And we see the vast majority of it there with only some parts of Europe and Africa missing. But that's because we're looking primarily at the watery regions of the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. And we're looking at paths of cyclones or hurricanes in the Atlantic Ocean, typhoons in the Pacific Ocean, but they are the the same thing. They are actually the storms and we're very used to that. Those in the uh, southeastern part of the United States especially are very used to hurricanes at this time of year as they form out in the Atlantic over towards the coast of Africa there on the right hand side and then travel up often into the Gulf of Mexico or up the eastern coast of the United States. However, that is not the only place these storms form and not even where most of them form as we're looking at all of the four all of these storms here over the period of 20 years from 1985 till 2005 that there are fewer there than we look and to the Pacific when we look at the uh, typhoons off in the Pacific, we see that there are a lot of them off the western coast of Mexico, and then even more that head into uh, East Asia. So places like Jap Japan getting hit by some of them and the coasts of China, uh, the eastern coast of China getting hit by a lot of those typhoons. Now they form over the warm waters. So you see how they form down towards the equatorial regions. But note that the equatorial region itself is blocked out here. There are no uh, hurricanes or typhoons that form very close to the Pacific. And they will not cross the equator. And that is because the Coriolis effect which helps to power and circulate these uh, storms does not exist at the equator. So that will disappear. There is no Coriolis effect at the equator. It will be zero. So the equatorial region, such as the northern part of South America and some of the islands of the South Pacific, uh, do not get these kinds of storms. So you'll note how they form down in the warmer waters and then kind of move upward and arc. So they'll move upward and then off again to the east. They kind of make a little arc there in the northern hemisphere and do exactly the opposite in the southern hemisphere. And you can see where places like Madagascar off the coast of Africa on the left hand side gets hit and the northern portions of Australia can get hit by some of these storms as well in the southern hemisphere. However, they're very rare in the much cooler regions. You don't see many that start down in the very cool regions or that even form within the cooler regions or head out. They lose their power when they lose the warm water. So if you've ever watched the hurricanes as they come through, they may come through and hit land with a devastating force, but then they die down, they lose some of their power. However, if they head back over a warm part of the ocean, uh, such as say the Gulf of Mexico on the eastern portion of the United States, then they can pick up power and hit again. However, the longer time they spend over land, the more they weaken and you can see that they spend very little time as a strong storm at least over land in any in any position here you see very few of them that expend, extend a lot of time over the land. So here shows us a number of the storms in fact all of the storms of major storms from 1985 through 2005. So that was our picture of the day for September 15th of 2021. It was titled Cyclone Paths on Planet Earth. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.